Well, on the state level, the officers are facing second degree murder, aggravated assault and kidnapping charges. Our Stephen Reels is here to break down where these charges stand right now. And Stephen or Stephen, rather, how often do we see both state and federal charges happen at the same time? It's more common to see it when it comes to drug trafficking to get both state and federal charges. However, as you may remember, a similar situation played out a few years ago in another case that drew national attention involving former police officers. That may be where the real danger lies for most of these officers. National headlines continue to be made in Memphis as these five former Memphis police officers now face both state and federal charges in connection to the January beating and death of Tyree Nichols. Nichols' mother went on to address the federal indictment on Tuesday. It was a surprise to us that it happened so quickly, but we're very thankful that it did. And he really should be here today. Tyree shouldn't be gone. He should be here today. Memphis lawyer Michael Working says the separate cases boil down to one, proving what the former officers are accused of in state court, including second degree murder and aggravated assault, versus two, what they are accused of not doing in federal court, including the charge of depriving Nichols of his civil rights. The combined state and federal charges is a similar situation for the ex-Minneapolis police officers after the death of George Floyd in 2020. Those ex-officers each face the same charges initially. However, the conviction of Derek Chauvin, the ex-officer who kneeled on Floyd's neck, led to the harshest sentence of more than 20 years in prison. But according to Working, because all five former MPD officers were involved in beating Nichols to death, they could all face harsher sentencing. But they're much more alleged to be like Derek Chauvin for putting hands on Tyree Nichols, for actually inflicting the physical harm and abuse. Here in Memphis, a major focus now is when each of these cases involving the ex-MPD officers will be tried. It's very likely that they could have the state trial first because the charges are also so serious in state court. But any move that they make in state court can really come back to haunt them in federal court. And Rudy and Pepper, the attorney I spoke with today, says the five former Memphis police officers, if convicted, could end up getting 15 to 25 years in prison for state second degree murder charges. But those could be reduced to just a couple of years, like in the case of George Floyd. As for federal charges, a conviction could each carry 20 years to a lifetime in prison each. Wow, Stephen, that's a lot there. Thank you. And as we continue to follow this indictment, make sure you download our ABC 24 app. It's available in Apple and Google Play stores for free.